And he said, O one greatly loved, fear not, peace be with you. Be strong and of good courage. And as he spoke to me, I was strengthened and said, Let my Lord speak, for you have strengthened me. Hi, everybody. So when the word peace comes to my mind, I think about when Jesus talks about the peace that transcends all understanding. And that is my wish this Christmas, that everyone can have that peace, especially peace of mind and peace of heart, that we are clear in our thoughts, we are clear in our emotions, and we are clear spiritually. I, my prayer is that this peace that transcends all understanding is with all of us around the world this season, as we proceed two years into COVID and as we deal with all the problems of the world, my prayer is that this peace that Jesus tells us can transcend all of the division that humankind have created. Divisions in terms of race, religion, nationality, language, sexuality, and gender. My prayer is that every one of us finds this, this peace, the peace that transcends all understanding. When I think of peace, I can't picture it as a concept. I think of peace as an experience, something you have to fill out, fill in with your own um, emotional or psychological uh, or sense of, uh, of what that word might mean to you. And all I can do is describe an experience to think about what peace might mean. And I'm thinking of a, a day late was late summer, last September, of sitting in the long grass near a, near a lake, and uh, it wasn't a question of birds or anything like that. It was just all of a sudden being aware of being in the presence of something so wondrous and not of myself, and I just felt full of this sense of tranquility and absolutely happy, and and that was peace for me. I think people can describe it in many ways. I think of it as completely experiential. I think that most people have their own moments when they somehow transcend the ordinary and the very ordinary things around them become something quite luminous and beautiful and, and which they, they sense the presence of God. And uh, that's what peace is for me. It's, it's way more than the absence of conflict, it, but it is something that's ineffable, that's almost impossible to name and describe. It's simply a matter of what your heart experiences. When we think of peace, we think of a lack of conflict. It's without conflict. Uh, we're not troubled in our mind. The, we don't discuss politics at the dinner table with our family. We try to get uh, to find ways of creating civic peace and we pray for world peace. In each case, we're looking to create something without conflict. But this is a negative definition. It doesn't say what peace is. If you think of beauty, for example, uh, it's not lack of ugliness. It's something we may not be able to express in words, but peace has to have some real meaning. And I think it is relatedness, wholeness, oneness. It's being one with one's true self. It's being one with one's family, friends, one with our community, the whole human family, and the whole of creation. It's a deep level of oneness that ultimately is oneness with God. Peace. Sweet peace, where dost thou dwell? I humbly crave, let me once know. I sought thee in a secret cave, and asked if peace were there. A hollow wind did seem to answer, no, go seek elsewhere. I did, and going did a rainbow note. Surely, thought I, this is the lace of peace's coat. I will search out the matter. But while I looked, the clouds immediately did break and scatter. 
Then went I to a garden, and did spy a gallant flower, the crown imperial. Sure, said I, peace at the root must dwell. But when I digged, I saw a worm devour, which showed so well. At length I met a reverend good old man, whom when for peace I did demand. He thus began, there was a prince of old at Salem dwelt, who lived with good increase, a flock and fold. He sweetly lived, yet sweetness did not save his life from foes. But after death out of his grave, there sprang twelve stalks of wheat, which many wondering at, got some of those to plant and set. It prospered strangely, and did soon disperse through all the earth, for they that taste it do rehearse that virtue lies therein, a sacred virtue bringing peace and mirth by flight of sin. Take of this grain, which in my garden grows, and grows for you. Make bread of it, and that repose and peace which everywhere with so much earnest you do pursue is only there. <laughs>